Yeah, my dudes, what's happening? It's Trent, and guess what, man? I got a new art challenge from the community, uh, Trent's art community. I've renamed it so that it's not confused with Aquatic Moon, my art house where we do a lot of contract work. This is the community where people get together and they help each other learn and they help each other get better at art. And every month I create a new art challenge for the community last month in the month of August, we all sat down to create a Legend of Zelda landscape. Now this could be anything in the world as if it were a sequel to Breath of the Wild. It was very non-specific, <laughs> but that gave everybody a lot of room. I've been trying to, it's really been a challenge for me to come up with these uh, topics, but uh, I wanted to give everybody a lot of room to create whatever kind of environment that they wanted that fit within that game. And I think that the community is really starting to find, put a fine point on what it means to make a piece of artwork for a specific type of game. And that is one of the skills that you have to develop as a concept artist. A lot of people in the community are using this as an opportunity to create a nice portfolio piece every single month. And we've got some people who've been doing it every single month and you could too, if you were so inclined. So click the link below the video to join Trent's art community on Discord. All right, so this month I wanted to feature really quickly uh, one of the standout entries. This is from Iris Shortlegs. <laughs> And uh, this one's really cool. It's got very iconic symbolism that you see across the entire Zelda series in this mound-like dwelling. Uh, this whole piece has a really nice flow and a shape to it. A lot of the lines and angles that you see coming in are pointing the viewer directly towards, even the, the sketch lines in the grass down here are pointing the viewer directly towards the doorway and the entrance. And it overall, when it's got a good payoff, so when you do get in close and you're taking a look at what you're seeing in the structure itself, you've got this really nice doorway and entry and the frame looks like something that you'd see directly out of Breath of the Wild. There's this fantastic color scheme that's going on. We've got the God Rays coming in from the top right and it just has the mood and the atmosphere. It's a little bit dodgy, a little bit scary, you know, even by Zelda standards. But I think that that also gives it a unique look. This is not an existing location from Breath of the Wild or any other Zelda, but you know what? I could totally see this piece in one of the art books from the official Zelda artworks. So good job on that one, Iris Shortlegs. <laughs> Everybody else it, it did some really phenomenal entries and I'm gonna run them as a slideshow so you can check out and soak in all of the creative juices and all the creative energy of Trent's art community. And I hope that you'll join us over there for next month's challenge. All right, now let's check out the slideshow. 